Hello YouTube and welcome to another SQLite tutorial. So in this video I will show you how you can insert multiple rows at once in SQLite. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as an example we will take this uh, school.tp SQLite database here on my desktop. So let's connect to it. So I will use the command line SQLite tree then the name of my database okay so let's see the tables it contains so as you can see here we have three tables departments students and tests so let's focus for example on the students table so let's see the content of this table here so I will select all from students Okay. So as you can see here, I have uh, six records or six rows, student ID, student name, department ID, and date of birth. So for example, if you want to insert multiple rows into this table, you use the insert query. Okay. So let's, for example, add or insert two rows in my table. So the normal way you can just type insert into the table name which is students and the keyword values and you open a parenthesis and you insert the data for example let's add student ID 7 with the name for example uh, Yannick okay and as department ID, I will use three, for example, and the date of birth, I can use whatever I want, for example, 2000, and the 13th of January, okay? So you close your parentheses and semicolon at the end. So this is the uh, seven record that I added to my table here. Here we go. So it's been added. So if I want to insert another record or another row, I will do the same. I have only to change the student ID. So now it's eight. And the name, let's make it for example, Nick. And I, kept, I can keep the department ID. I can change the date of birth, okay. But as you see here, I insert rows by rows, okay? So if I select all, you can see that they have added the two records that have been inserted into my table. But how can I do the same with just one insert query? So without typing each time insert into table and uh, the data, I can just do it in one query. So how you can do that? actually from version 3.7 you can use that so all you have to do is to insert or to type the query insert into the table name which is students okay and the keyword values okay so here you can insert your data at once so I will open the parentheses student ID here it's uh, now 9 and the name I can make it whatever I want for example Suzanne for the department ID I can just use 4 for example and the date of birth let's just put an example for example March 20 okay but this time you don't have to add the comma you have to add the comma actually instead of semicolon so I will add just a comma here and I can add the next data or next record or rows so here we are at student ID 10 let's give it a name like Thomas for example I will keep the department ID 4 and the date of birth I can make whatever I want ok 
Okay. Let's add just another last one. So just keep in mind that you have to separate the data or the rows by comma, not semicolon. So here I will add last one, 11. Let's name it Sun or Sunny, Department 4, and the date of birth. Fourteen, for example. So for the last record, you have to finish by semicolon. So I will just put semicolon and the last data. So here you can see that I actually try to insert three rows at once by using a single insert query. So I will hit enter here and the data now has been inserted into my table. So let's verify that these three records has been added so i will execute select all from students as always and as you can see here the three data or rows has been added to my table with a single insert query okay so it's a very interesting way if you have a lot of uh, inserts and you want to add them into any table but at once but just keep in mind that in terms of performance, actually when you insert one by one, it's more efficient if you insert it like that, according to the SQLite uh, authors, okay? As always, I hope it has been informative for you, and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye!